Tracked. HBO real-time host Bill Mayer bursted Meg's bubble, frozen out of Hollywood. Kinsey Schofield, who's the host of the To Die For Daily podcast, told Fox News Digital that those within the couple's circle in Hollywood may be wary of what they reveal out of fear that the pair will publicly speak out again. I think Spare and the recent Netflix documentary will ultimately hurt Harry and Meghan's relationships with the Hollywood elite, said Schofield. Did intensely private Beyonce give Meg permission to read a text message that she sent the Duchess, verbatim to millions of Netflix subscribers? I highly doubt it. Did Courtney Cox expect to one day be called out for magic mushroom chocolates in Spare? Does Gail King enjoy being grilled by the internet when Harry tells ITV there isn't a royal racist, even after Gail appeared on morning television, claiming that her friends the Duke and Duchess of Sussex had receipts? They're putting people in uncomfortable situations. Who's going to give her a deal? Disney was one and done. Tyler Perry loves her and calls her princess, but hasn't put her in any of his shows or movies. Oprah hasn't been seen near her. Spotify didn't renew archetypes. Meghan is currently eyeing a new HBO project, but was immediately hit with cold water on a proposal when HBO real-time host Bill Mayer repeatedly attacked the Duchess over recent days. Real-time host Bill Mayer took a jab at Meghan Markle as he joked that her archetypes podcast was the cause of Queen Elizabeth's death. Bill Mayer returns for the 20th season of this award-winning news talk series that features an opening monologue, round-table discussion, guest interviews, and Mayer's popular new rules segment that exposes society's most absurd habits and institutions. Dedicating his opening monologue to Meghan on Friday night, Mayer immediately took a dig at the Sussexes. Queen Elizabeth died at 96, they say the cause of death was Meghan Markle's podcast. Taking a jab at the Duchess of Sussex's archetypes, which fell off Spotify's number one spot after accusations that its position was inflated. Despite his jabs at Markle and the royal family, Mayer insisted that he liked and respected the monarch before taking aim at America's leaders next. At the end of the monologue, Mayer said that, like others, he too tried to offer his condolences to the royal family. Later in the show, Mayer returned to the topic and told guests Matt Welsh, editor of Reason magazine, and NYU professor Scott Galloway that American quips about the Queen are vastly condemned by the British. Another time, Bill Mayer has been paying attention to the continuing fallout from Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, and he spent a lot of time on Friday's episode of Real Time talking about it, including the fact that he's sceptical about some of what Markle said about her experience within the royal family. I mean... Meghan did claim that before dating Harry, she never googled him, and she said she didn't.